Hi, thank you for joining us for today's video. My name is Brandon and we're going to be discussing high value mental health VA claims and how to increase your VA rating for your mental health conditions. Let's talk about some of the commonly filed high value mental health claims. Now, certain mental health conditions are considered what we call high value claims because veterans usually have a high likelihood of getting at least a 30% rating for some of the conditions that we're going to talk about in this video. Frank, I'm going to kick this over to you so you can start us off. Can you tell us about our first high value mental health VA claim? Yes, definitely. So first we're going to talk about post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. That is a mental health condition that results from experiencing a distressing, shocking, or otherwise traumatic event. It is rated under diagnostic code 9411. VA rates PTSD under the schedule of ratings for mental disorders. That's 38 CFR 4.130. And again, under diagnostic code 9411. These ratings can range from 0, 30, 50, 70, or even 100%. These ratings are based on the level of social and occupational impairment, as well as the frequency, duration, and severity of symptoms. It's also important to note that veterans do not need to exhibit all symptoms listed in the diagnostic criteria. The criteria are meant to serve as examples of the type and degree of symptoms that would justify a particular rating. Veterans can have any number of symptoms listed in the rating criteria and still meet um, that evaluation. Great. Thanks for that information, Frank. Matt, I'm going to kick this one over to you. Can you talk to us about the next high value claim we see for mental health conditions? Let's talk about depression. Yeah. So depression is a serious mental health condition that affects the way a person thinks, feels, and acts. Uh, depression, including major depressive disorder, is rated under the general rating formula for mental health disorders. So the same as PTSD, like we were just talking about. And also similar to PTSD, major depressive disorder and other depressive disorders are rated at 0, 30, 50, 70, or 100%, depending on the level of social and occupational impairment that the condition causes the veteran. Great. Thanks for that information. And now that we've spoken about PTSD, depression, let's round this off with anxiety. Now, anxiety is defined as intense, excessive, and persistent worry and fear about everyday situations. There are several types of anxiety disorders, however, such as generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, and various other phobia-related disorders. Very, very similar to PTSD and depression and most other mental health conditions, VA uses the general rating formula for mental health disorders to assign the same ratings that we previously discussed for, uh, previously discussed for the other conditions, which is you can either get a 0, a 30, a 50, a 70, or a 100% rating based on the social and occupational impairment. You kind of see this theme moving along. Mental health conditions are typically rated on that scale. So 0, 30, 50, 70, and even 100%. But there's one condition that is a little bit different that we also see as a high value mental health claim um, that we've seen here in our experience at CCK. Frank, let's talk about TBI. Yeah, so traumatic brain injury or TBI uh, can be caused by many factors such as a blow to the head or an object penetrating the brain, it may result in brain dysfunction. And some symptoms of TBI may include memory loss, an inability to follow directions, headaches, and even personality changes. VA will rate TBIs based on the residual symptoms a veteran is currently experiencing due to that trauma under 38 CFR 4.124A. And these ratings can also range from zero to 100%, as we've been talking about. Great. Thank you, Frank. Now, Matt, I'm going to kick this next part over to you. So what if I were to ask you the question, should my mental health disability rating be higher? Yeah, so to get a VA rating that accurately reflects the severity of your mental health condition, it's important that VA understands your level of social and occupational impairment as well as the frequency, duration, and severity of your symptoms. It is really, really important that you attend your mental health CMP exam and carefully explain to the VA examiner what you are experiencing on a daily basis and how your condition affects your ability to function at work, at home, with your family and friends, etc. 
You can also use other evidence, including lay statements from family, friends, and others who might understand and could speak to the level of impairment that you currently experience as well. Great, great information, Matt. Thank you for that. So what if you want to increase your mental health VA rating? What should you do? So if you feel that your service-connected mental health condition is more severe than your current disability rating reflects, you can do one of the following. You can file an appeal with, uh, within VA's deadlines, which is typically one year from the date for most types of appeals to file an appeal. You can file a new claim for an increased rating for that mental health condition. You can file for TDIU if you believe that your service-connected conditions render you uh, basically unable to obtain or maintain substantially gainful employment. So essentially, if you feel that your service-connected condition or your mental health condition alone has prevented you from maintaining or obtaining employment, you can file for TDIU. And lastly, you can even file a claim for secondary service connection if you have symptoms or conditions that result from an already service-connected disability. We have a ton more videos concerning that topic specifically at our CCK blog and even our various YouTube pages, so I definitely encourage you to check those out if you're interested. If you need help with your appeal, if you kind of fall into that category, you may benefit from contacting an accredited representative or even an attorney. The CCK team offers free case evaluations to see if we can assist as well. So I know we spoke a little bit about secondary service connection. So Frank, can you kind of unpack that a little bit for us, specifically in the context of secondary service connection for mental health disorders? Yes, definitely. So veterans who develop a condition as due to their service-connected mental health condition may be able to qualify for secondary service connection benefits. These benefits will increase their overall disability rating. And the following are some common secondary conditions to mental health disorders. First, uh, we have hypertension secondary to PTSD. Uh, veterans with PTSD may also develop hypertension secondary to their PTSD due to the increased stress and anxiety they experience. Second, we have sleep apnea secondary to PTSD. Uh, research has indicated that veterans with PTSD are at a higher risk of developing sleep apnea. And third, we even have migraines secondary to PTSD, depression, or anxiety. Um, as stress can trigger migraines, veterans with PTSD or any other mental health condition often suffer from migraines as well. So filing for secondary service connection allows veterans to reach higher levels of compensation it may also help and qualify veterans for other VA benefits, such as the total disability rating based on individual unemployability or just TDIU, what we were talking about earlier, um, which again compensates veterans at the 100% level. And we have a ton more videos about any of those topics as well. Um, so if you're interested, please feel free to check, to, check those out. Great. Thank you, Frank. And thank you, Matt, for all the information. Um, thank you for watching our high value mental health VA claims. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more veteran related content. We've added links below for each of the topics that we've discussed and we've mentioned today. So I encourage you to kind of check those out and kind of see if you can gain some more information and some insight about some of the topics we discussed today. For more information on VA compensation for mental health conditions specifically, and for even more information on how to file a mental health claim, uh, definitely check out our video. Uh, it's VA general rating formula for mental health disorders. Explain if you go through the entire process of filing for a service-connected disability claim for your mental health condition. Thank you for watching.